Hi, welcome to Mac's Journey, and this is Mac. Today's episode number five, you know what, I titled it The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, because that's what I received in those 12 years of being in Haiti, you know, um, and I really want to talk about the three faces of Haiti through this video, and I'm going to be playing a video of the lifestyle that I was promoting during those 12 years, and the person I was because for you to be on this journey with me, you have to know my past. You have to know where I'm coming from. And I want to be as transparent as possible with my audience, with my viewers, you know, and I'm going to get right into it. So me being deported in 2011, I was obviously, like I said, the organization helped me. It helped me out as much as possible, but I needed to find my own identity. You know, and what I wanted to do and what I had it wrapped up in my mind was to put out positivity, to push positivity. And with being in Haiti as a deportee, they don't they don't give you that chance because the first thing they say, oh, they go that deporte, you know, and they automatically take your past criminal history that you don't pay for in America and they automatically stamp you with that. So they say you can't be anything but a criminal you can't be anything but somebody who's up to mischief so that just automatically start playing in your subconscious mind to the point where you are like wow that's not what I want to do I want to do something positive you know I want to be part of y'all of the Haitian community but they give you no chance they don't want to hear what you have to say so what that caused me to do was to create a movement within the deportee community and it was Dip and Fresh. And Dip and Fresh is an acronym for Deporty in Progress, but at the same time, we fresh, which is called Dip and Fresh. So with creating that and being involved with just already involved with so many deportees, I said, what's the quickest way to connect us all under one umbrella? And it was music. You know, the music brought us together. And at the same time, the music brought us together. It gave us an outlet for us to speak our mind, for us to actually share and say what we was thinking. But as as you all know, with pulling together so many different men from different places, you have people from Boston, you have people from Florida, New York, um, California. It all comes with their different backgrounds, their different culture, and which brought the whole gang culture. So in this video. Um, Sapai Gado, I'm going to be playing. And Sapai Gado, in English, it means with no regards. Because that's how we was feeling at that time. And once again, like, I was, like I'm was, like i saying, um, I was promoting that lifestyle. And I was living that lifestyle. And I don't want to put no names to faces. Because a lot of my um, affiliates, they still live in that lifestyle. And they still are involved with certain things. So I don't want to put nobody out there. You know? But at the same time... This is my story. And there's a lot of people that's part of my story, you know, and this is the testimony that I have to tell y'all. And me being in deep into the just the, the whole subculture of Haiti, it just forced me to find a way to fund this whole movement. And so what I did, I started selling drugs, you know, and the movement was funded by a lot of criminal activities. Because when you're involved with a lot of different people and a lot of people are looking up to you, they looking to you as the leader and which I was the leader. And I and I just wanted us at that time to be the biggest and the most feared name out there, which is Dip and Fresh. And and it comes back to what the country was giving us. The country was only giving us fear because they didn't want to accept us. They didn't want to hear what we had to say. And being in Haiti, I always tell people, Haiti is built off a of fear factor. Once they fear you, now they respect you, and now they're going to listen to you. And they're actually going to give you opportunity. I know it's a little backwards from being in America, but I have to let y'all know um, the culture of Haiti is totally different. And I, and I really had to retrain my mind to that and me not wanting to go back to the negativity. But that was the only way for, for us as the parties to get our message across and get our voices heard, you know. So it just caused us to just be involved with just so many different a different way of living, you know, a, a lifestyle with just a lot of different um 
you know, um, a lot of different aspects in it, and a lot of different people. And I just want to take this moment just to say, um, God bless the dead because a lot of people died and a lot of people got murdered throughout the movement. And this is something that we all who were part of this that have to deal with, you know, especially me being the leader and being the one that created this movement. It just really impact me the most, you know, so and and and, and for those who are not here, I want to put this story out so people could know why we was moving the way we was moving because we wanted our voice to be heard. You know, we wanted the Haitian community to accept us as we are. And the only way they looked at us as criminals, as guys who won't change. So we just took that and ran with it and gave them that. And once we started giving them that, the weird, the weirdest thing happened. They started accepting us. They started to want to be around us to the point where Dip and Fresh just grew in the whole subculture of what we was putting out. The music we was putting out just changed that whole generation. It changed the whole culture of Haiti to the point where people are looking at us as icons. And obviously, when you're in Haiti and you're being looked at and you're being respected, it just comes with the under the the ugliness of that too which led to a uh, um a lot of death you know a lot of um a lot of different random acts of violence you know and i just wanted to let people know that what i wanted us to do i wanted us to have respect you know i did it all for us for deportees to get respect so people could actually say okay i'm a deportee but i'm here and i'm doing something and i'm part of something positivity but through that and through through it just growing so fast it grew so fast and in this video um sapai gado which means with no regards in english you're gonna see um the whole culture that i was promoting the whole culture that I was part of, the lifestyle I was living, the lifestyle a lot of other people who was around me was forced to live because that's what I was putting out, you know, and I'm going to take full responsibility to that because I was and I am the leader. And, you know, and it's just a part of me where um, I just had to put out there so y'all could know where I came from, you know, and the whole time that I was selling drugs and, and, and using drugs and just being part of that that um gangster lifestyle i was doing it so that i could promote the positivity on the other end but me not having the, the control and i didn't want to control other people you know i just wanted everybody to do their own thing and promote it so i'm gonna get right into it and i want y'all to watch this video and understand that i'm not i'm not i'm not trying to promote it I'm just want to show y'all who I am and where I came from and what I was promoting and what I was part of for the majority and for 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 the, a good amount of time that I was in Haiti and um yeah thank you thank you for watching the video subscribe like share comment you know I love all y'all in Jesus name thank you. Yeah. Shuffle with dogs, I can boulanger. Shook it too real for these niggas in the field. If these niggas want to peel, I'ma hit them with the steel. Oh, 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 
Roma, qui s'en est là, n'est-ce pas que vous avez mais nous pas de jouer là, le monde est qui là, yo qui est nous yé, nous même nous avons jusqu'à ce que nous bouquons, ou même nous avons fait que nous avons fait bouler, nous avons fait que nous voulons toujours nous voter, les mesdames, nous avons toujours goûté, puis nous avons fait que nous avons bien mouillé, nous avons fait que 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 nous I'm cold, nigga, better get a sweater. It's cold, nigga, better get a sweater. So I'm pale la. Sa pare gadeu. Sa pare gadeu. Là où ma pote est sortie avec femme qui est tellement belle, y'a pas égaré. Sa pare gadeu. Sa pare gadeu. Comme un prêt à tout. Bouteille babacoum, la jambe a fait pare gadeu. Sa pare gadeu. Sa pare gadeu. Moi, y'a mes ghetto. Pas la rime, y'a des suspects, y'a pas égaté. Sa pare gadeu. Ça parle à Dieu, qui chante, qui compte, qui bon, nigga, parle à Dieu. Chaque fois que tu n'es au monde, ma dame n'a pas quitté le bateau. Ne, à quoi tu tournes? Ça reste sous mon. Fais ma fille meilleur, bon pour santé, bête pour jumeau. Deux femmes dans chaque mois. Ma nage dans deux jambes. I be gone till November. Ma pote tourne en décembre. Ma voiture home, ma bitch from Beta. I'm from the bottom. My city like Gotham. Your niggas stay joking, my niggas be robbing, finessing that powder. Chicken and pills, my life is real. No movie real. Say la vie, get mon boule à jean. Y'a pas qu'il s'attend. Moi pas joué encore, qu'on y a ma tenue. Piti prend yon ban. Access bar, on 36 bar. Ou pap en bar, dipping fresh. Ball fire, tant qu'on m'a qu'un dal. Moi fré, moi gangsta, tant qu'on S.I.L. Lem sou ma damou, li chante. Tant qu'on a d'elle, moi parle en classe. Man, nigga. Fais la kelle, celle madame moi Après ça, tout ça m'a gagné pour frem Ça pas regardé ou Ça pas regardé ou Là où ma pote est sortie avec femme qui est tellement belle Y'a pas regardé ou Ça pas regardé ou Ça pas regardé ou Comme un plein tatou, bouteille babacoum La jambe m'a fait pas regardé ou Ça pas regardé ou Ça pas regardé ou Moi rien me ghetto, pas la rime Y'a des suspects y'a pas regardé ou Ça pas regardé ou Ça parle à Dieu, qui j'aime, qui compte, qui boit, nigga, parle à Dieu.